A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among the wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. I was assisting at a, at a parish before I was helping at St. Blaise. And there was a deacon, uh, and his name was not Deacon Ed. So this is not a story about Deacon Ed. Anyways, this deacon would proudly proclaim at the beginning of Lent, I've given up alcohol for Lent. Good for you. And then at, uh, at the offertory time, if you'll notice, when there's a deacon, the deacon prepares the chalice for the priest, and he pours the wine from, from the glass container into the chalice. During Lent, he would pour all of the wine that was available. And he knew when I, when I celebrate Mass, I just take a sip uh, of the blood of Christ. I, I, it's not the time to, to you know, take a whole big gulp of it down or something. That's not the purpose. The purpose is the symbolic thing of, of receiving the blood of Christ. So then I would take my sip, and he would then guzzle the rest of the chalice of the blood of Christ. And even if it's the blood of Christ, it still has the taste of wine, it has the alcohol content of wine, even though it's the blood of Christ. And I always thought, he's getting his alcohol fixed just in a different way. <laughs> That's not what we do for Lent. We don't try to, to, to play games with God. In fact, I, I thought about this, and I've been waiting like for months to tell somebody this story about this deacon. But I remember when, when I was a little kid, I would say maybe first or second grade, um, I gave up watching my favorite television show for Lent, and that was The Flintstones. So, and I think it was on Friday evening, because I don't remember us watching television when, during the week, except on Friday. Anyways, so I remember I'd go to my room and my family would be in the living room watching television, watching the, the Flintstones, and I remember one week crawling down the hallway from my bedroom to the, towards the living room. I couldn't see the television, but I could hear the television show. And then, of course, my mother said, what are you doing out there? Go back to your room. I said, okay. But I was six or seven years old. We can't play games with God and we can't play games with Lent, and that's not why we give things up during Lent. You know, if you want to give something up, it's not the same as making a New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution we make, we, we don't usually keep them anyways, but, but during Lent, if we give something up, we give it up because we want to become closer to the Lord. We want to kind of change the way that we're looking at things or the way that we're living. And if you, if you want to know some good ideas of giving things up for Lent, uh, if you haven't already seen it, and it's been on the internet all week at least, maybe two weeks, what Pope Francis suggests you give up for Lent. Give up your bitterness. Give up those angry words that you always have to say to somebody, or your, or your attitudes, which, which, are, which sometimes are very hurtful towards others. Give up the way that you don't treat people with respect. Give those things up if you need to give things up. But rather than even giving things up, it's more an attitude of growing closer to the Lord, and that's what the season is about. We hear the story uh, in the first reading, the, after the story of, of, the, uh, of Noah and the ark and, and the flood for 40 days. And what did God promise? After 40 days, he promised a rainbow, something brilliant and exciting and, and breathtaking even, something warm. and. We will have that rainbow after these 40 days of Lent, or perhaps after the pandemic. When the vaccines are coming. You know, the numbers are, are going down. We don't know when it's, it's going to end or how it's going to end, but that eventually will come. That will be the sign 
That will be the rainbow. That will be God's gift to us. But in the meantime, make this Lenten season one where you grow closer to the Lord. And if you're giving something up, give it up, not like a New Year's resolution. Give it up because it helps you to grow closer to your God.